everyone myself vidyut datta sahu working as an assistant professor in the department of csc artificial intelligence and machine learning at institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad this is my eighth video lecture on the course applied artificial intelligence today i am going to discuss about the knowledge engineering in faster technology these are the topics to be discussed uh, the first one is the what is knowledge engineering knowledge engineer who are the knowledge engineers what is the process and roles involved in building an expert system using knowledge engineering and what is the definition of knowledge engineering and the steps of knowledge engineering process this is the topic learning outcome for this particular topic knowledge engineering in first order logic after the completion of this topic students can apply the knowledge engineering techniques in faster than logic to represent the facts rules and the relationship enabling the development of intelligent systems for complex problem solving so let us discuss what is the meaning of knowledge engineering so knowledge engineering it is a field in artificial intelligence which is used to develop knowledge based system i hope you might have seen my last video lecture already have discussed what is knowledge based system it is a type of system where the knowledge are stored knowledge from different people knowledge from experts knowledge from the domain people those knowledge are stored inside the knowledge base that is why it is called as the knowledge base system it is basically a system where the knowledge of different expert people are stored it involves the process of creating managing and maintaining knowledge based system here the topic is knowledge engineering actually the knowledge engineering it is a technique which is used to create manage and maintain the knowledge based system whatever the knowledge we store inside the knowledge base that can be created that can be managed as well as that can be maintained by the knowledge engineering process it focuses on designing the system that can simulate human decision making by representing and reasoning over structured knowledge such systems are nothing but the computer programs which are which contain large amount of knowledge rules reasoning mechanism to provide solution to the real world problems if we consider ourselves we are the agent we are we have the god gifted knowledge we have the reasoning power we have the intelligence to receive or to perceive something from the environment we can process as well as we can provide the solution or we can find the solution for a particular problem the same thing knowledge based systems are nothing but the storage system where the knowledge of expert people are stored and stored in the form of different formats it is it is stored in the form of knowledge or rules or reasoning or facts which is used to provide the solution to the real world problem especially those knowledge are used to solve any complex problem in the world that is why the knowledge based systems are used but behind of this knowledge based system knowledge engineering works suppose we we will discuss one of the example suppose we want to automate the teaching process for children in the subject of mathematics then it requires the knowledge of teachers subject matter experts and data from previous batches and their performance in maths so here we are talking about the machine who can teach the mathematics subject like if we consider normal mathematics teacher he or she will have the complete knowledge about the subject so that is why he or she can teach in the class but instead of a human teacher or instead of a human being if you want to place one machine who can teach the mathematics to the students then we have to provide the required knowledge for the particular class about the teacher and the subject matter experts the data from the previous batch is and their performance in the mathematics so that the machine can teach the students in place in a, on behalf of a, a physical person so the general work flow to do this task we need the process of metadata 
Metadata is nothing but the data about data and its quality, the content, the structure, the objects and the format in order to have a basic idea of what it takes to make a decision. Suppose we will take the example, we will store the information like a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square, b square plus 2ab. But how it was derived, all the solutions or any example for that particular formula, which is called as the metadata of that formula and how this formula can be represented in knowledge base, what is the content, what is the structure and how we can define all these terminologies in that formula that is called as the format. So everything that is why it is called as metadata, the data about data. It's not only we will store S a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and it will work out for any kind of problem. But we have to define how we got that S square, what is a, what is b, what is 2ab, every each and every term we need to define and we need to store inside the knowledge base, then only it will work out. So that is why, so to prepare the knowledge base, metadata is required as well as metadata is required for the exploration of the knowledge. <clears throat> then who are knowledge engineers? They are the people actually. Knowledge engineer is not a, an upset. It is knowledge engineering is a technique, but this technique is used by the people or a group of people, those who are knowledge engineers. So in knowledge engineering, someone who investigates a particular domain learns the important concept of that domain and generates a formal representation of the objects is known as knowledge engineer. So those who are the engineer, those who are the, they are the people, those who retrieve the data from, a, uh, from the uh, domain experts. So they investigate in a particular domain, in a particular area. Suppose we'll take the area of education system. They will, knowledge engineers related to education system, they'll investigate all the things, all the related matters to the education system. They will try to learn the important concepts of that particular domain. Domain means the area and it generates and they generates a formal representation of the object means formal representation of the object means how the knowledge whatever he gathers or whatever the knowledge engineer gathers from the environment means from the uh, domain expert he will or she will try to represent that knowledge in the form of knowledge representation language so those people are called as knowledge engineer mm -hmm. so they are very important it is an important role in uh, in the concept of knowledge engineering. Uh, I hope you can understand by seeing this picture. Here three uh, boxes, one is circle in domain expert is there, another one is the knowledge engineer and, and the last one is expert system. So this process depicts the process and the role involved in building an expert system using knowledge engineering. So here is the knowledge engineer. Knowledge engineer, I can already have told you, it is nothing but an, it is not an upset. It's a person or a group of people, those who are called as knowledge engineers. Domain expert also is a person or a group of people, those who can give the expert advice to the knowledge engineers. That is why two-way communication it is given. Domain expert communicates to the knowledge engineer and knowledge engineer gives a request to the domain expert to provide their domain ideas or expert ideas. So that is why two-way communication is given. And the main purpose of the knowledge engineering, that is what we are discussing now. So knowledge engineer will apply the technique which is called as the knowledge engineering for the building of this expert system. So expert system here, it is a system, it is an object or the system or it is we can say it is an AI system we, which can give the expert advice like how the domain expert gives their expert advice to the knowledge engineers. Suppose we'll ask you solve this problem uh, like uh, to uh, like uh, the any quadratic equation or any complex problems we will ask to the AI tool or we will ask the chat GPT that is also an expert system which can give the expert ideas in different ways. So that is why these three things, these two domain expert and the knowledge engineers are very important in knowledge engineering process for the creation of the expert system. So expert system, it is a machine or it is a AI 
machine and domain expert is a group of people or a people those who have expert ideas in a particular area knowledge engineers who are the who can apply the knowledge engineering technique they can communicate to the domain expert to retrieve or to receive all the domain expert ideas as well as they are responsible to analyze to represent all the knowledge inside the knowledge base so knowledge engineers are responsible to represent the required knowledge knowledge which is retrieved from the domain expert in so they will represent inside the knowledge base using the knowledge representation language so different languages they will use like predicate logic or proposition logic or ontological engineering or different techniques or, or else knowledge representation using semantic networks or knowledge representation using frames so different uh, techniques are there again so those people will use to represent the knowledge inside the knowledge base so that that knowledge can be retrieved by the expert system and expert system can solve the complex problem which is given by the user so this is the way the knowledge engineering works for the building of expert system <clears throat> this is what here i have mentioned specifically for you people so domain expert it is a person or a group of specialized knowledge in a particular field the domain expert provides the essential knowledge rules and problem solving strategies that the expert system will use and the knowledge engineer is the individual who are responsible for gathering analyzing and structuring the information obtained from the domain expert the knowledge engineer designs the knowledge base and encodes the rules in a format that the expert system can use and expert system it is a software system or it is a ai system which is designed to mimic the decision making abilities of a human expert <clears throat> now we'll see what is the definition of knowledge engineering so the knowledge engineering it was defined in 1983 by edward fengenbaum and pamela markadoc as follows this is the definition knowledge engineering is an engineering discipline that involves integrating knowledge into computer system in order to solve complex problems normally requiring high level of human expertise so normally requiring high level of expert human expertise are nothing but it, it is nothing but the domain experts those who will give their expert ideas knowledge engineering it is the technique here it is a engineering discipline first and that involves integration of the knowledge into the computer system it it uh, and in order to solve the, the main purpose of this particular technique is to solve the complex problems by the expert system that is why expert advice is required by the domain experts now we will see what are the steps are involved of knowledge engineering process basically there are total seven steps are involved in this knowledge engineering process let me discuss one by one then in the next video i will discuss one of the classical example how the knowledge engineering can be applied using first order logic so here the first step is identify the task identification of the task is nothing but the formulation of goal so before solving any problem we have to identify what is the goal of the problem what needs to be done and what should be the output and what are the things so based upon this goal formulation in the next step which is called as the step 2 here it is called as assemble the relevant knowledge so which is also called as knowledge acquisition acquisition of knowledge or acquiring of all knowledge or relevant knowledge related to the goal formulation so whatever the goal is formulated in step 1 based on that the knowledge will be acquired or relevant knowledge will be acquired in the second step uh, then in the third step decide on a vocabulary of predicates functions and constraints which is called as the knowledge representation in that normal meaning we can say 
the naming convention we have we know what is the goal of a particular problem and based on that goal we have gathered all the informations in the second step and in the third step we have to based upon the relevant information whatever we gathered in the second step we have to give all the names so that while representing the knowledge inside the knowledge base we should not get any conflict so how we can give the naming convention in the form of predicates or in the form of functions or constraints that we have to give all the names so that everyone should be distinct from each other uh, thereby we will not get any conflict while representing the knowledge which that is why the third step is called as knowledge representation then fourth step is encode the general knowledge about the domain so now after naming convention is done in the third step we have to encode the general knowledge about the domain means uh, about the area whatever the knowledge is gathered and naming convention is done in the third step in a particular area that no the knowledge engineer will write down all the axioms for all the vocabulary terms means uh, based upon the information uh, the knowledge engineer will define the rule or the axioms which can be helpful to solve the complex problem that is that will be done in step four then step 5 says that encode a description of the specific domain instance. Here this step involves writing simple atomic sentences of instances of concepts. Here that means here like one of the example we will take and will try to solve the problem. Means we overall idea whatever we have gathered. Again the description we will define at the step 5. Encode a description that is why it is given as the description of, of the specific problem instance. The complete information or the complete description about the problem domain we will represent using the first order logic. Then the sixth step post queries to the inference procedure and get answer. That means here that is nothing but the testing. So whatever the representation we have done and we after the description we will fire a query or the knowledge engineer will fire the query to the knowledge base whether the knowledge base is working properly or not. So that is why the query will be fired to the inference procedure to get the answer. That is nothing but the testing the knowledge base with the problem instances. Then the last step after testing the debugging will be done which is nothing but the rectification of the error. Debug the knowledge base. So we'll try to debug the issues of knowledge base. So whatever if any error comes after firing the query that means some error is there inside the knowledge base the knowledge engineer will try to rectify the error in the seventh step. So this is all about all the seven steps are involved in the knowledge engineering process. Let me repeat once again the first one is the goal formulation is nothing but identify the task. Second step is the assemble the relevant knowledge. Third one is decide on a vocabulary of predicates, functions and constraints. Fourth one encode the general knowledge knowledge about the domain and fifth, fifth one encode a description of the specific problem instance then sixth one pose the queries to the inference procedure and get the answer and seventh one debug the knowledge base so this is all about all the engineering process of what we have discussed here what is knowledge engineering why knowledge engineering is required it is a technique uh, it is used by the knowledge engineer to communicate with the domain expert for the preparation of the for the building of expert system and for the preparation of the expert system what are the steps are involved we have i discussed in this video i hope you might have enjoyed so these are the reference i refer the textbook uh narvik book peter narvik book and as well as this uh, given youtube link also so Next class, I will discuss about one of the example, classical example of knowledge engineering using first order logic. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.